Hi everyone, Linda Israel here. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm glad to be able to share with y'all some fun and creativity. And I hope that by watching me that you are inspired to create as well. So this is a live stream on YouTube, May the 13th, and we started at 3.45 p.m. If you're watching this in the replay, remember you can go down below my face here and look for the gear and you can change that to two times the speed so you can get through it faster. So you can still enjoy the video, but get through it a little bit faster. If you have a question, please put it in all caps. That way I can hopefully see it. If I don't see it, please forgive me. I am very busy trying to create as well as read the chat and remember what I'm telling y'all. <laughs> so sometimes I'll have a senior moment or a blonde moment. You know, I am blonde. <laughs> and then I'll be like, oh yeah, that's what I'm supposed to say. Um, <clears throat> let's keep the chat up deep, bait and, and friendly and happy and let's, you know, encourage each other and give each other, you know, kudos for doing something. So, you know, just let's be positive, friendly and fun. We're going to make a junk journal today. The donation goal in order to raffle off the journal at the end is $75. Remember that if you donated today that you can get in the raffle. If you've donated in the past, remember that you can go to my website website. Make sure that you create an account there. Send me a message through the contact me form. Thank you Paula for your donation. Uh, send me a message through the contact me form and let me know what your YouTube name is and your email address and then I can add you to the YouTube donators membership on my website which entitles you to free digital downloads that I share and also a 5% discount in my shop. So if you've donated in the past, you definitely need to set that up. And if you donate today, make sure you set that up. Uh, what else? If you get to 2000 junk bucks, you can redeem those for a $10 coupon to my shop. You earn junk bucks by being here, by chatting and by making donations. You can check your bucks by typing exclamation point bucks and it'll tell you how many that you have. All right, well, let's change back to the main view here. So again, you can type bucks and then award when you're ready for your coupon. If I don't see it, remind me so I can scroll back through and look at it. Um, and again, the donation goal is 75. You can donate through Super Chat here on YouTube or you can use Streamlabs to make a donation. I think it goes through PayPal unless you use a credit card. And I get more money if you use Streamlabs. If you use YouTube, they take 30% which I don't mind. I know what's convenient, so I appreciate your donations, but do it either way that you feel comfortable with. What else? Um, I saw that Leslie had a question. You know, if you ever change devices and you come on and your junk bucks are gone, just let me know. Usually I can go in and find your user ID and then I can change your junk bucks. Leslie, I don't think you are registering yet. Um, check bucks. Thank you so much, Sherry. And let me see if it comes up, we'll have how many bucks you have right now. And then later after the stream, I should be able to go in and give you your junk bucks. And I think you had like 1100 on your other account. Um, what else? Um, you know, I am working with the daydreaming kit from Calico Collage and putting some hand lotion on. I've been washing my hands several times this morning because I got a messy with Tattered Angels. And we're doing the daydreaming kit. That's a kit that is digitally created by Calico Collage. Thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you so much. And I'll also show you a couple other kits here. So the B kit will be, I haven't put it in my shop yet, I know, but I have the printed B kit, uh, beekeeper I believe it is, that I'll be offering in my shop that is uh, $14.99 for the large journal kit that Calco Collage has created. You can get the digital download from Norella. And this is one of her newest domino size images. These are available only right now to people that go to the virtual junk journal camp retreat. Thank you, Debbie, for your donation. Thank you so much. Um, so if you want this, you may check out that retreat. This is another digital. I'm gonna kind of go across. It's got all kinds of little tags. It also has lots of little journaling cards. I love all of the pieces in this. It's really quite pretty. 
and this is another one that's available these are already in norella's shop i've already used a couple of them she's got these really cool mixed media looking tags oh look i didn't even realize that that's one of my gel prints i think that she used in there i'm not positive um she's added the word journal and diary she's also got some in vintage and i think there's three different types of files that you get and then if y'all don't know may 27th i think i got upside down oh yeah no don't uh, may 27th is going to be the punked out steam who's ready for that one i think it's going to be a lot of fun um i'm really excited about this kit uh, we've been working on oh thank you so much margie for your 20 dollars donation you are such a blessing to me thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> um let's see punked out steam see there are a couple of the large journal kit pages i i'm not going to give you a sneak peek of the kit pages yet that will be coming up on may the 27th this one the fussy cut pages as well so it's going to be a lot of fun i think we're going to really enjoy oh thank you mariana for your donation thank you so much thank you thank you thank you um to check out how many bucks that you have rita type exclamation point bucks and then it'll tell you how many you have all right yeah you like the journal words journey journal words julie those are really cool i think anyway so that's coming up. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I'm a little scattered today. Oh, Rita, thank you so much for your donation. Hey, Calico. Hey, Norella. Hey, Deborah. Hey, uh, Mary and all of the others, Tina and Robin. Robin, thank you so much for your help in the chat. I greatly appreciate your help. Uh, Junkie Joe is working as well. Yeah, so Leslie doesn't have any bucks yet, but she will. So it'll grow here in a moment. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Um, there are some in-game uh, chat game, if you will. It costs you 10 junk bucks, but you could win. You could win 20. You could win a whole bunch. So it just kind of depends on how many people. So I have on, let me show you the shirt. I'll give you the face zoom so you can see it. I have on the junk journal retreat shirt. Can you see that okay? Yay, it's pretty cute. It's uh, designed by Penny, uh, just Penny, and it's for the Junk Journal Camp Retreat. Thank you, Sally. Hey, so good to see you in the chat. Um, it was created for the Junk Journal Retreat. Um, I just remembered that I don't think I set it up for um, the t-shirts to come up. I also have another t-shirt that was designed by Norella of Calico Collage, and it's called the uh, it's a junk journal type of thing so i'm going to give y'all here's the link to the t-shirts um those are going to start shipping out on wednesday so if you have an order with me right now like for the creative box or something else and you want to add that t-shirt you can message me through my website or you can just go ahead and order it and then i what i'll do is i will give you a refund on the shipping i'll i'll do what is the actual shipping when I um, send out your order. So I'm going to say, here are the new T. All right, so that if you do exclamation point T-shirt, then you'll see the information about T-shirts. All right, so here's, oh, one more thing that I wanted to share. I just put in my shop some journal covers. I had a couple people ask me for some journal covers and asking for the Midori style cover. So here's some that I have created so far. This is the first one that I'll show you. It's got butterflies and a few dragonflies and some words. It's got a really pretty, it's hard to see on this uh, screen, but it's a kind of a mint green color. And then this is the inside of it. It does have some pockets. I use some of those labels that Norella created. So it says property of, and this is designed to fit a five and a half by eight and a half inch insert and there's four bands that you can use on the inside then here's another one here is the i guess it's just kind of a golden leaves that's what i called it and it's got music on the inside and then this really fun pattern at the bottom and the one with the words is sold julie said okay so i'm showing you this but julie bought it <laughs> I haven't looked at my orders in the past couple of hours. 
Yeah, you like them, Paula? Thank you so much. So this is the words, and that's the inside. And then I know I'm going to have multiples of this purple. I've already cut the fabric, and I just got to finish sewing it together. And then this is a pocket here as well. So these are in my shop right now, and I will be adding more, so be on the lookout for that. If you're looking for a particular color or style, let me know. Oh! crash i have some fabrics in my stash in fact i've got this really beautiful um i got these three fabrics that i have not cut yet but i've got them laid out here ah. so this oh thank you ada for your donation thank you so much this is a really pretty it's kind of a mm, moss green background and it has purple and kind of a orangish what, coral color I guess it'd be coral color fabric so that's going to be some covers that I'm going to make and then I found this fabric and I think it's just absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to be making some covers out of that and then finally I just could not pass this up I had to buy this fabric because I just love the bright colors and so those will be coming probably later on this week because I've got to work on shipping out everybody's order for Wednesday so I'll be busy with that um, I also have added some new stamps to my shop so I thought I would show y'all those so these are all word stamps and i've got them all um oh thank you robin for your donation thank you um these are all little bitty words so they're tiny 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 words and this is where to do with it oh here it is <laughs> it's, if it was a snake it would have bit me it's right in my face um it makes little bitty words and the way it's designed is it's a piece of rubber it's deep red rubber it does not have a cushion on the back so when you get it you could put some double stick tape on it or you could use the best glue ever and i'm going to show you how to do this and you just put a little bit of the glue on here i'm gonna put the lid up and then i'm gonna grab my i'm trying to grab the paintbrush that i used earlier okay and I'm just going to grab a paintbrush. You can use your finger, but then your fingers get sticky. And then I'm just going to go in here and kind of wipe that glue across. And then I'm going to let this air dry. And I can then stick it to a block. So let me set this up here. Oh, remember, we're also doing a raffle. We're giving away 200 junk bucks. So definitely type in raffle so you can get that. So this is what it looks like. Where's my block? I'm losing stuff here. My drawer is full. So here is an acrylic block and you just stick it on there with that tacky glue and then you can stamp it out like I did on these little pieces of paper. I just went ahead and just stamped them and thought then then what I could do later is I cut them out as I want to use them. All right, so type in raffle. If you have it, typed in raffle. Oh, and there's these, these really cool um, images. I haven't done anything with these yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut these apart. I'm going to coat the back with the glue, and then I'll cut them apart. And they'll be fun little, you know, embellishments you can add. All right, so I'm going to put this back over here out of the way. Put that in here. Put that up there. Raffle! <clears throat> Alrighty, <laughs> I think I got all the things. <laughs> okay, so to go through the streaming, it just posted by Robin. It says streamlabs.com. You click on it and go through the process. I know it may be kind of a ordeal, but I think if you log in and you tell it you want to go to PayPal, it's really quick. If you want to use your credit card and not go through PayPal, it takes a little bit longer. I know that um, a couple of people last week said it took just a little bit longer to get it set up, but once it was set up, it's there and you can use it every stream. Your donation went through, Margie. I saw it. It said $20. You donated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty. So I know that the pages and stuff that I'm working on, so I'm going to kind of get those out here, and I'll show you all what I've got. So this is the cover um, for today, all right? 
I've gone ahead and I've got the same kind of purple flower fa fabric. And this was the label that was part of the daydreaming kit. And I just covered up that says kit with a little bitty heart. And I thought this would be a great bookmark that you could use in your journals. And then this is what I call the writing journal that I made. This is one of my gel prints, I think. <laughs> yes, it is a gel print because it only goes to a certain size on here. Or no, it isn't. No, this was a mixed media page. I'm so confused sometimes. I've done so many of these, y'all. <laughs> you like the bright side? Yay! Yeah, I like that last fabric was really cool too. Um, so I made uh, nine pages in here. So this is the cover. This was also part of the um, label that came with the kit. I just cut it apart. And then I used one of Norella's journal words on top. And I went and glued it all the way down. And then this is the back cover. So there's still room for you to um, journal on. It's 100% uh, cotton fabric, Julie. So I'm just using cotton fabric. I use two layers of fabric. The other fabric is just some white, um, I don't know what it is really. It was some fabric that was given to me. So I knew that it being white, that if I did two layers, it wouldn't show through to the chipboard underneath. And it just makes it feel a little bit more plush, if you will, because there's two layers of fabric there. Oh, the Lenovo computer is giving you a problem, Margie. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so this is the first page. I put nine pages in here. I think I already said that. Sorry if I uh, repeat myself. And then I have not stamped or anything in this. I thought we could do that live. This is the purple and pink ribbon rose and maybe pink and purple i think that's how the title is pink and purple ribbon rose uh, gel prints that i made so i printed them out because i wanted y'all to see what it looks like as a journal page this is another one this is the daydreaming stencil and i used one of my tattered angels this is a the spinning flowers that's this stencil here spinning flowers and i used blarney i am going to start um uh, you're very welcome, Julie. I am going to start having um, <clears throat> uh, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in my shop. I did pick up, I think, about 12 colors. I didn't get very many of each color, just a few. I took the pictures today of all the bottles. So next I have to edit those pictures to be product size for my website and then write the description for all of that. I need a secretary, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> or never sleep one or the other <laughs> um, this was a music page and I used one of the gel prints on a piece of paper this is one of the beeline uh, quattro of little uh, butterfly stamps and I colored them with tattered angels glimmer mist and then this is just a piece of tax weight paper and I used one of the small butterflies that comes and on this side I put one of my gel prints up here and this one is the other half of this paper, just in a long skinny piece. And if you were at our mixed media session, this is where I use the gelatos on a paper or a postcard that had uh, some gesso. And then I added the Beeline Designs Rose, Bella Rose, and then the little butterflies on there. Thank you so much, Giovanna. You're so sweet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't forget to turn off the stove, Mariana. Don't burn down the house. <laughs> okay. And then here's some more. You'll be my secretary, Robin. Just build you a mother-in-law apartment. <laughs> Love to have you. I guess I could clean out a room. <laughs> So I wanted to show you all that really quick. So here's the cover. Here's one of the journals, and we'll work on that in just a moment. So I'm going to set this over here. I don't want it to get dirty, so I'm going to kind of mush it far away, and we'll come back to that. So here's what I did prior to the streaming is I worked on a couple of pages, and I know you all like these little tabs that I put on pages, so I thought I would show you all how to use the ribbon that comes in the daydreaming kit and we will attach it to a couple of pages so i've got some ribbon and i've got some lace here i'm going to go ahead and we're going to spray these 
So I'm getting my spray box. Now I've already sprayed, um, we got pink, or excuse me, pink, get on the right one, pink and a turquoise. And then we have green and blue. So let's do purple. I think we should do purple. I think purple would be good. So I'm gonna basically, oh, thank you, Barbara, for your donation. Thank you, Janice, for subscribing. And I am almost to 10,000 subscribers, and I've got a couple of extra giveaways we'll have today. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I'm gonna grab the purple. So I've got the purple peacock color. So I still have the purple or the peacock paint set in my shop. I have probably seven of those kits left. It's a really good value because you get six colors for $25.99. So here's what I'm gonna do. I've got this satin ribbon, it's white. And when I'm gonna lay it in this box here, I'm trying not to get it where it touches the sides, but I can see all of it. So I may have to move it around a little bit. And I'm shaking it up and then we're gonna spray. And I'll kind of move it a little bit. Come on. All right. So now I'm letting that soak in a little bit. Then I'll grab my heat tool and we'll dry it. So let's see. What color do we want to put on top of that purple? Do we want... Let's do the pink. I think we should do a pink on top of there. What do y'all think? Maybe pinhead pink? Yeah, almost 10,000. I, I am flabbergasted. And the junk journal group, the friendly junk journal group, is going to be um, almost 20,000. It's 19,500 so far. Oh no! The, the, the Bella Rose stencil had a tiny piece break off. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I know that they're not super, super strong. It was all about that design. I have been redesigning my new stencils to not be hopefully so fragile. Um, but I have another stencil in, or laying around. Julie, I'll see if I can't put it in your box because I know you ordered a few things so you can send it, so I can send you another one. <clears throat> All right, so I'm drying this, and we're gonna set that aside, and then we're gonna lay the lace in here, and then I'm gonna take the Tattered Angels and spray. Nope, gotta lay it out. This bottle's almost empty. I may have to go steal another one of those kits for myself. <laughs> How to turn it. Come on. Spray! I'm gonna lay this over here. I'm tilting the box because my bottle's almost empty, and if you tilt the bottle, then it won't reach down into the glimmer mist. You love that purple, Robin? I think it looks really cool. It's so cool the way that you can take white lace and white ribbon and you can change the color. I no longer buy ribbon and lace in colors anymore. I buy it in white because that way it's easier to store. I just know white, I go grab some and then I can color it whatever color I want. And it gives you that vintage look too because it, it may not be all the, you know, solid. It may have some lighter areas and darker areas and I'm okay with that. I think it is part of the charm. Yeah. I understand, Julie. I understand. All right, so here's what we're going to do next is I'm going to layer these one on top of the other. And we're going to go sewing cam. Where's Angelica? She's not here to say sewing cam. And I'm going to stitch right down the middle here. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Um, let's see here. Has it been raining? We finally st have stopped raining. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the sewing cam. All right, so here I am at the sewing cam. You see me okay over here? All right, so I'm gonna line this up in the center as best as I can, and I'm gonna put this 
press your foot right down. And I love this because this ribbon and the lace has a sparkle to it now because of the tattered angels. I've got it set on zigzag stitch and I'm just going to go ahead and sew right down the middle here. It may not be straight. <laughs> it's handmade. It's not always perfect, right? So what's everybody been doing? What'd you do this weekend? I've been working. I've worked all weekend, I think. I took a little bit of a break. We, uh, we, we have hammock chairs in our backyard, so I need to post some pictures of them. We bought them last fall, but with the weather over winter, we never did put them up. And we were outside Sunday, yesterday, and I said to Henry, hey, you know, the weather's really nice. We should hang the hammock chairs. And so he said, well, I don't know if we have all the tools. And I said, I think we do. And we did. So we hung them. <laughs> I need more light on my sewing cam. I think I've got it turned differently. I think my ribbon, my, my uh, thread just broke. My thread broke. Got to thread the machine. I like this easy thread machine. It's not like my old one that it would take me five, ten minutes to thread it. This one just takes a few seconds. All right, so let's go right here. Got some fuzz in there. Did everybody have a nice Mother's Day? It was relatively quiet around here. Since we don't have kids, we just kind of hung out around the house. Crocheted, crotcheted. <laughs> Weeding the backyard. I need to work weed my yard too. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this in half. And then I think I'll kind of fold it in thirds so I can kind of see how much I have here. And then we'll just cut this. And then these will be my little tabs that we'll use on some journal pages. Ah, come on. There we go. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah, I've got... One, two. I've already done these. That's the cover. That's a cover. <clears throat> okay, so I've got those. And I think what I'm going to do is we've got a couple of, um, what is this called? Just, it's, it's a fancy linen text weight paper. Yeah, oh, that's right, Giovanna. He is my kid, isn't he? Hercules and Oreo, they are our chil children. <laughs> You're holding your breath for stream pack. Breathe for now. It'll be here the 27th. <laughs> and I still have a kit for you, uh, Sally. We just need to connect. Just let me know when you want to get together. Oh, thank you, Jenny, for your donation. Thank you so very much. All right, I'm going to pick a different stencil. Oh, this is one of my favorites. We'll use this one. I like the boxed flower stencil. I tend to use it a lot. So even though this paper is kind of a green color, I think it's going to look pretty cool. We're going to do this purple and pink on it. So I've got... These page oh, thank you so much, Sonia, for your donation. Thank you. Um... What color do I want to do? Oh, let's use the daydreaming color. Oreo is a Chinese crested. Normally you see them as a hairless dog, but Oreo is a powder puff. So he's got fuzzy hair. 
he really kind of looks like a weird looking poodle because his hair is um <laughs> um his hair's really curly oh cool cool well, we, we need to connect soon then All right, so I just laid that down on top of the stencil and whoo, it curled up. Oh, thank you, Paula, for your donation. Thank you so much. What do you think of that? I just love the stencil. It just makes me so happy. And then here's what it looks like when you spray through it. Like that. All right, I'm going to do the opposite again. Let's put it in here and let's put, we'll do the same color. Why not? not I'm the boss of this journal I'll make it the way I want <laughs> oh thank you Christy for your donation thank you so very much all right so we're gonna place this in top of here and mop that up so we'll have designs on both sides this paper is a little bit thicker than your standard um, copy paper if you will so it doesn't bleed through okay Alrighty. Let's get this out of the way. We need to dry these pages before we sew on them. I think we'll do that really fast. Any questions? You didn't miss a lot. I'm just spraying papers. Hey, Kim. So glad to have you here. <clears throat> hey, Mary. Mariana. Any Helen Steiner rice well, you can look them up. Oh, thank you, Janice, for your donation. Um, Leslie, um, you can look those up online, I think. Um, I like to use Quote Garden for quotes. If you want to just hand write it or something like that. I can move this. <laughs> thank you so much, Mariana. <laughs> Oh, we're going to do a boss fight. Got to get in the boss fight. You might win something. Here, I'll give you all some of my junk books. All right, so I'm going to take this and fold it. It's still a little damp for sewing, but I can get it started. Okay. By folding it. I'm going to fold this one. Kind of do it the same way. Thank you, Robin. Yes, you can use a coupon on the sprays, not on the, um, uh, what you call it, the subscription box items or the t-shirts. No, not when I'm stenciling. I just have, um, this box has, um, time to do the, uh, it's just some other papers inside there and it's just a box. All right, I'm going to draw the winner of the junk bucks and see who is the winner. Join the raffle, Robin says. Join the raffle if you haven't already. I need some. I don't use baby wipes normally, but I bought some because I think I need to have some, and apparently I don't know how to open it. To open, tear at perforations. Oh, there it is. Like, where's the perforations? These are not flushable, it says. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Giovanna. Let me uh, write that down so I can send you your coupon code. Ugh. Wiping my hands off. All right. I don't think I like those. They feel weird. All right, so Giovanna, coupon. All righty. Yay! Use that order box. It's perfect for that. Um, quote garden. <coughs> Pardon me. Quote garden. I'll get that for you. I've been using it for a long time. It's a great little website. You can search 
on it. Um, you can go. Oh, thank you, Karen, for your donation. And I just find whatever quotes I like and I can share those. Okay, so let's do the raffle. Let's do the raffle. Thank you, Ada. <laughs> I could feel it coming. I was trying to get it done. <laughs> All right, so let's do the giveaway. I see Nancy just got in. Anybody else? Get in the raffle before I draw. Raffle. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Giveaway. All right. And pick winner. Mary Jones, you won 200 junk bucks. Yay, congratulations, Mary. You won 200 junk bucks. All right, so I'm going to give away our next thing. It's hard to see it. Reset, yes, go up here, and we're going to go um, seven gypsies. Ah, I can't type. Seven Gypsies uh, Globe. Open giveaway. So this is one of the architectures. Um, it's a sticker that is by, Cal or by Seven Gypsies. And the packaging is even reusable. They printed the packaging so that you can use it. And it's 3D. It's got texture on it. It's a photograph of a real globe that they've gone in and given it that 3D texture. So here is the next prize if you will set that over here <clears throat> glad to have you here glad to have you here enter the raffle all righty i think these are somewhat dry now all right i'm lining these up just to kind of see where i want to put these little tabs so i'm going to fold it in half and I think I'm just going to put it somewhat at the top right here. And we'll do the sewing cam. <sighs> okay. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe as well. All right, let's do the sewing cam. Oh, let me write down Barbara Oliver. Barbara, thank you so much for being here and redeeming your 2,000 2, junk bucks for a coupon. Congratulations! Sewing cam alert! <clears throat> All right, sewing cam, sewing cam. All righty, so I'm going to go over here to the sewing machine. I've folded this over in half, okay? We're going to slip it right over the edge, making sure that I don't have it folded in half. <laughs> Ask me what's happened before. And we're going to just sew a little couple of stitches. The ribbon is so sparkly. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see the sparkles in that? I don't know if y'all can see it. All right, so I'm going to grab another one. I'll fold it in half. Okay. Then I'm going to go over here to this side. And I want them to be kind of lined up. I don't know. I'm weird like that, I guess. So I'm going to kind of line it up, making sure they're not sticking out any further than the other. And then we'll sew this one down. Try not to move it too much. You could glue these in place. You just put a nice, generous amount of glue on both sides and then glue it down if you don't have a sewing machine. All right, so now we're going to repeat that on the other page as well. Isn't it sparkly, uh, Norella? I love it. I love it. Love it! Hercules is, oh, my machine's not happy. I think I have a problem. Houston, we've got a problem. It 
happens, I think my bobbin thread is low, so we're just going to replace it. Sometimes it gets a little wonky, so I'm going to take that out and grab a new one. And we're going to re-thread the machine as well. Sometimes you have to if it's uh, having a little issue. It happens. We just don't let it fluster us, right? We just go along with it. It's no big deal. Oh, we got another boss bite going. The arena was cleaned up. I don't know if I'm going to be in time. I'm going to try to join for y'all. Yeah, it's plugged in, Mariana. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let's try this again. Wonky technical crafting term. Oh, we got Janice Brammer as well. Thank you so much for letting me know. Let me write that down. Janice, congratulations, and thank you so very much. Congratulations. Yeah, you get you use that coupon for purchases of $10 or more, so long as it's not a subscription item or the t-shirts. All right, we're going to fold another one in half. We'll line it up with the first one. So they match, and then we'll sew it down. Sew it! All righty, we'll go back to the regular camera now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I greatly appreciate it. Yes, Leslie, no big deal. Bobbin thrown across the room, stuck in the wall. Yes, all nice and calm. <laughs> I try to stay pretty calm. Uh, there's not very many things that really upset me. I might get a little flustered sometimes, but I try not to let it bother me. Life's too short to be upset. There's too many other things to do. Let's be positive and find the good in things, right? All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm kind of looking at these pages. I think I need to make one more, what I call kind of a fancy page, if you will. I've got a couple of um, dictionary pages here, and then I've got, I know I've got the belly bands, but I want them to be wider than that. Um, let's see here. Let me grab some paper. I think we need some cardstock to go behind that. And why not use, I'm looking up, my all my cardstock is way up high up there. Um, let's do something bright. Just something bright. Oh, that's not cardstock. Uh, let's see. Pity this one. Here we go. This one's cardstock. Let's do that. It's kind of a teal color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into a strip. Your foot kept falling off. Uh-oh, you got to get that tightened up. You got to tighten it up so it doesn't fall off. <laughs> or like everybody else says, see a doctor about that. They can reattach it. <laughs> so I'm cutting this to be about, I think it's a one and a half inch strip, just because I wanted it a little bit wider. And then I've got this left over, so it can become journal cards. So I'm going to cut these at, let's do this at three inches maybe. So they'll be tall, skinny journal cards. Let's see, well, how wide is this one? This is five inches, so we'll do it at two and a half. So now we have a few journal cards. We use up all the paper. What? Someone's foot fell off? What? <laughs> I think she meant her sewing machine foot kept falling off. 
Oh, enjoy your dinner, Norella. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, they have risen quite a bit, Paula. I really ag agree with that. Um, I guess I, I don't go shopping at them anymore because they're so expensive. I've never really found things that I like that much. I think I have better luck if I go to a garage sale or a yard sale or a estate sale. And I don't really go that much anymore because I have enough stuff in reality. <laughs> So I don't really need any more. So I just put Distress Ink around the edges of that paper. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to adhere it on top of the strip. The junk jar has $45 in it. You can donate to be in the raffle to win the journal. And remember when you donate, you also get a free digital download from my shop. And you get 5% off your orders at my shop as well. Because I am thankful for your support. Okay. So let's do this. I'm just gluing these on. Trying to get them as straight as possible. And that's just an 11 inch by one and a half inch strip. Okay. Oh, we're at $54, uh, Robin says. She made a mistake. Me and math don't always go together either, Robin. I know. <laughs> so it looks like I, let's see, 22, 34, so that's 56. I see 56, possibly. Oh, thank you, Paula, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, I think what I want to do is I'm going to glue this down on this page. Sometimes I would sew it, but I think we're running out of time, so I'm not going to sew it this time. And I'm just going to glue it somewhat across the middle of the page. And then I'm going to grab some washi tape here. I think I like this one it's kind of a floral and I don't think I've used it or if I have I don't remember using it I'm trying to use up this washi tape y'all use it up all right so I'm just going to lay it down across the bottom and remember you don't want to pull on the washi tape as you lay it down you just want to give it a nice flat otherwise it'll curl on you where's my scissors i think i'm going to go ahead and wrap it around to the other side so i'm going to pick it up flip it over flip it and then we'll pull on it just slightly to get it going and then stick her down stick her down I have pretty washi tape. Yours is boring. Well, I bought it when it was on sale. <laughs> and now I'm trying to use it. Because I've had so much of it for so long. I have a whole drawer full of it. Okay. Oh. It started to lay down in the wrong spot. Don't do that to me. <laughs> All right, flip it. Yeah, I understand. If it's so pretty, you don't want to use it. But I'm like, you know what? I have got to use it. You know, we're not getting any younger. It's just kind of like saving your good clothes for, you know, going out instead of wearing them. Use it. You bought it. Use it. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Okay, so on this side, I saw a gel print. Ooh, I like that one. I think I'm going to trim this one out. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with y'all. <laughs> I just wing it as we go. Uh, sometimes I completely plan out what the page is going to look like. 
I've been so, so busy that I didn't get everything that I really wanted to get done before I went live. And people don't realize, you know, having your own business, it's a full-time job. You don't, you don't realize how much time it takes to do things. I think, is that what I want to do? I'm trying to decide if I just want to glue this on the whole side or if I want to fold it in half. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold this one so it's ready to go. And I didn't glue it in the center because it's going to be caught in the binding. And I think, you know what, let's just do that. I think that would be pretty on there. And then you could write on that page, don't y'all think? Think it? You like it? I do. I don't know if y'all do, but I do. Join the free raffle for the seven gypsies. Yay! <laughs> it needs a doily. <laughs> oh, I didn't see your comment. What'd you say, Julie? Sorry, there's a lot of Junkie Joe going on. Nah, I'm not saying you're old, Les Leslie. Maybe I'm kind of old. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. This one has the postscript collage rubber stamp on it. So it has a neat effect, doesn't it? Yo, oh yes, we're just not getting younger. Use your washi. Yes, yes, yes. That is so true. We're not getting any younger. Use it. Use it up. Quit hoarding it. You like it? Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I have a question for y'all. When y'all glue down a piece of paper that the background has text in it, do you pay attention and make sure it's right side up? <laughs> sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I think that looks really pretty. Very feminine looking. All right, so let's find another one to put on this side. That one's a little different. Let's see what else we've got. I'm going into the pile over here. What do we got? Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. What else? Ooh, this one's kind of pretty too, because you can write on these pages. Okay, I think I got a plan. We're going to do this one and this one. You like it? You do, you do. Thank you. Use your washi. I don't know. More and more of these days, you know, I, I wear that fancy perfume. I put on my fancy makeup. I... If I'm going out at all uh, of the house, I try to, you know, wear something I love, you know? You like the blues? I think that'll look pretty on there. Because that'll be on that side. I'm going to go ahead and trim this one so it's ready for the other page. Because I know I'm going to need it. Oh, no! What are they thinking? You know, I just wouldn't answer the phone. You're busy. See? A telephone is for my convenience. I will answer it when it's convenient to me. It's a hard concept to understand sometimes, but trust me, it makes a difference. Text must be right side up. Oh, Christy, you getting you want your reward? You got to spell it correctly. <laughs> R E W A R D or A ward. There you go. All right, Christy, we'll get you. <laughs> all righty let me see here let's get this right here all right now we're cooking let me write the note how are we doing on time everybody we're doing your comment won't post julie what's how long is your comment what are you trying to say all right so that was for who do, who just did that christy okay I've had four people redeem their coupons today. That's amazing, y'all. Julie, is the comment 
Does it have a link in it? That might be why it didn't. If there's not a link, it should go. But sometimes it's picky. All right, so let's glue. Oh, I got, I got, I got carried away. So let's put some distress ink on this side. Oh, I'm gonna have to trim that. It's longer. It's longer. You like it, Mary? Ah, when you're on your you're on your cell phone, it stops your YouTube. Well, that's just rude. How dare they call you? You're busy. <laughs> All right, I think that'll go there. Yeah, it's A Ward. A Ward. Do I need to change it to reward for y'all? <laughs> I'm giving you an award. I guess I could give you a, a reward. I could probably say ransom. <laughs> oh, dear. All righty. We'll get that down. I find that some pages works better if you decorate them before you put them in your journal, like doing a belly band like this. Oh, you're going to make the paint swatch thing, but you realize you don't collect enough variations of the colors. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Alrighty, I think now... What I need to do, I may go ahead and glue this down and then put the washi tape on top. And then I don't have to trim it. <laughs> and then have random trim pieces, right? So let's go down the sides because those will show. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for your donation. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Henry's going to be working on the t-shirt, so if you ordered a t-shirt, those will go out Wednesday. It usually takes about three to five days, depending on when it is ordered, for us to get the shirts in so he can uh, print them. All righty, just want to glue this down. You know what I didn't do, and I want to do that, is I need to fold this because I kind of need to know if I've got the piece of paper in the center. And if I fold it, it's easier to place. Like a so. And then we'll do it on this side. We have $59 in the junk jar. Not much more till we get to $75, pretty please. Ah, I lost the lid. I had to clean my lid out the other day. There was a, a glob of glue that had dried in the nozzle and nothing was coming out. It was annoying, y'all. <laughs> okay. So now, we'll open this back up. Let's grab that washi tape, because I'm going to use this up. No, I don't, I don't remember, Robin, if yours did or not. I did uh, send some out, but I also had to wait on uh, Henry help me by cutting some stencils. So I don't know if yours was in that group that I already mailed or if they had to wait. They're a female cut to, cut to them. Let me show you, Ada. So they're a women's cut. I can't get far enough from the camera. Can you see? They kind of are a little bit fitted through here. So they are a women's t-shirt. Does that help? You don't need one. You have so many other different brick stencils. But mine is different. <laughs> Pardon me. 
paste it down. <coughs> Pardon me. Female cut. Woman cut. Ladies shirt. I kind of like the t-shirt a little bit short. Because if they go too long on me, my hips are so big <laughs> that... I'd have to wear, like, I don't know, a 3X or something to really fit around my derriere. <laughs> oh, wow, Jenny. Have you even used your room, though? Because <laughs> I can clean mine, and then within 10 minutes of cleaning, if I'm still in it, then it will be dirty again. Hi, Kathleen. Glad to have you here. We're making a junk journal right now. I'm making a couple of pages. I'm going to glue down this belly band. Glue here and here. And I think I have enough pages now that we can assemble the two journals that I haven't made yet. Okay. I like it. Oh, you're so you got a tall torso. Gotcha. I have a a, a normal sized torso, tor torso, maybe a little bit longer than Henry's, because Henry's longer leg than I am, and when he gets in my car, he will um, adjust the seat up because his torso is shorter than mine, <clears throat> and I always hit my head when I get in my car after he's adjusted things. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Get this all lined out where I want things. Here's the covers. And we're going to get these pages all ready. All right. How do I want to do this? We'll do this. We'll split it. I should have put different um, tabs on these, but that's okay. Put those right there. And then I got a couple of these pages. Okay. Now I have these pages. Those pages. I got a couple of these pages. These are some of my gel prints that I printed. You like it? That's got the gold in there. I know it may not be showing up there, but it's gold. So he's got long legs too. Put this here, this here, put that there, this here. I think I want that. Do I want that in the center? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that in the center. <clears throat> so now I'm just kind of laying them all out what I want where. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages. You can't see all of them, but I do have ten. And now I've got the, um, yeah, you're creating two LA. Well, glad to have you here. So I've got one of the covers, and I'm just going to grab a page and then grab the next page. And I've just got them all different sizes, different mix. These are some of the items that come in the daydreaming kit that I use as well this here. Oh, I don't want that. Why is this the same? I don't want it the same yet. Okay, we'll do it this way. There. I wasn't paying attention and I should have done them in sets of twos, but I did them in sets of threes. So I have to think about it when I go to uh, put my pages in so that my tabs are alternating back and forth. Thank you so much, Giovanna. Yeah, you have to readjust. It's funny how we have to readjust after somebody else drives our vehicle. Okay. I think that'll be the first one. I'm going to go ahead and paper clip it together and do the other one. Thank you 
so much, Sally, for saying so. You're so sweet. I just hope that y'all are inspired to create. I like those tabs sticking out. What do you think? Kind of cool, huh? <clears throat> Set that over there for a moment. Let's grab the next one. My watches tell me to get up and move. Don't they know I'm busy? I'm flapping my arms around. Doesn't that matter? <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I love these gel print printed pages. My gel print printed pages. <laughs> Say that fast three times. Oh, I need to readjust this. So let's do this. So this page, because I did two of them, let's put this one here. There we go. Now we'll do this one. And we can do this one. So they're not next to each other. The tabs aren't too close. And then we'll do this one. Okay. Get a few things out of the way. Find my paper clips and my tools. And let's bind these bad boys. All right, are we ready to do the raffle? Oh, I'm sure it comes out absolutely gorgeous. I've seen some of yours. They're pretty. I don't know why you think they're not as pretty as mine. I think they look great. <clears throat> We're our worst critics, are we not? We think that they're not right or something's wrong. But it's part of it being handmade. All right, so now I'm going to got this all lined up, and we're going to poke the holes, and we can bind it. You recently started adding tabs? They do add a little extra touch, don't they, Robin? I agree. I forget sometimes. Uh-oh, almost slid off the craft table. That's not good. Raffle, have y'all joined the raffle? I'm going to bind this journal, and then we're going to do the raffle, and we'll start a new one. Yours are never the exact same size pages. Well, you know, here's what I do. I decide what size I want my journal to be, and in the case of using the digital downloads, they're eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. So I just cut papers down if it's too big to be eight and a half by 11. And then sometimes I'll have some smaller pages, which is fine, and mix them in together. And it's not going to be absolutely perfect. Whenever books are made, they actually trim them after they're bound through the spine so that the pages all come together. <clears throat> but I'm okay if they are just a little bit off. It's not a, you know, a commercially made journal. It's all handmade. So yeah, there's going to be different sizes. All right, so I got this tight. Into the raffle to get this little globe. Right, that. All right, so there's one journal. We'll come back to that in a moment. Let's find the other one that I stuck over here. And then next, we'll just start decorating. We'll start adding all the things, all the fussy cut items. all different well then you know if they always do that then it could be that when you are putting your pages together you're not getting them all nested if they're the same size as your cover um so you want to make sure that you're getting them all nested down in and you may want to make your pages just slightly smaller than your cover 
if it always happens to you that's what I would suggest <clears throat> But it's okay, it can happen. Do you like the daydreaming kit, y'all? Do you like the colors and the covers and the pages? I think they're gorgeous. Oh, oh I almost pulled it all the way through. It is easy. It's not that hard. I'm just making three holes and then just poking it through. Hang on to your tail. <laughs> okay, good, Julie. Thank you, Jenny. You know, um, Ada, here's what I do. Cut, if you're just doing a single signature, Cut a piece of paper the same height as your journal. So in this case, it's eight and a half and about an inch, inch and a half wide, at least. Fold it in half. Mark it. That's your center. Then about an inch to, let's see, let me see what this one is. This one's an, actual, an inch from the top, and I just folded it down like that and marked it. And then... I folded it this way, lengthwise, okay, and I marked it. So now I know that there's a hole here, here, and here. Does that make sense, Ada? Oh wow, it's a little behind on your on the notice, isn't it, Leslie? <laughs> Yeah, make sure that when you subscribe that you hit the notification bell. Also, if you haven't followed me on my Facebook page, and if you can, also go and say going in the event on Facebook, because I try to send that out <clears throat> so everybody gets a notification, okay? Yay! Okay, Ada. Good. I'm glad that helps. All right, okay, now we've got, here are our three journals. You like that? All right, we need $16 more, just $16, we're almost there, y'all. <laughs> oh dear, hopefully y'all aren't uh, too annoyed by me begging for money. I gotta I got be able to pay the internet every month. <laughs> Uh, yours did that 15 minutes ago. Maybe it's a YouTube thing. Maybe they're a little behind. <clears throat> As opposed to me with my big behind. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, we're trying to get a boss fight going, it looks like. So, exclamation point boss. I'm going to do the raffle now. After I get me a little drink. Oh, thank you, Christy, for your donation. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. And then I'm going to be giving your money back to you because you got a $10 off coupon <laughs> coming to you. All right. I make them so quick. Well, part of that is prepping, you know, <clears throat> coming up with an idea. Oh, thank you, Paula, for your donation. Of These pages are already printed. This was a mop-up page. I love the way that looks from spraying the lace. Okay, just six dollars more needed. <clears throat> oh, we're also doing an FFA. Free for all. Oh, sorry y'all, I won 19 junk bucks. <laughs> um, this is a page out of a book. This is another printed page. This is a gel print, so that was printed and ready to go. This was a book page that I added a pocket to. A mop-up page that we made. Another printed page. Another printed page. This was the dictionary page that we added the gel print on top. I just love the way that looks. I need to do more of those. I love the way that turned out. 
with the metallic paint. And then we'll put some journal cards in here in a moment. So I think that's part of it, is just planning it all out, getting it all ready. All right, let's do the, um, <clears throat> let's do the giveaway, y'all. Let's do the giveaway. All right, so this is for the globe. Let's see who the winner is. Are you ready? Karen Owens! I have your address, Karen, so yay! You won the globe! Oh, thank you, Giovanna, for your donation. Thank you so much. I think we're almost there if it's not within a dollar. Yay, Karen! <coughs> All right, so I show 54 plus 22 makes that 76 or, or a dollar over. Is that right? Is that math? <laughs> well, thank you, Donna, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woohoo! <coughs> All right, so let's do another giveaway. Let's reset that. Yes. Let's do another 200 junk bucks. And we're going to open the giveaway. Uh, Robin, try to remind me in about 15 minutes to draw that winner because I have another prize I want to give away. <clears throat> All righty. So here's our journals. So now we're going to take the things that I have here. I've got some... This is some letterhead. Some of it was given to me. Some of it is just papers I had. So I thought we could fold those and stick them into pockets, possibly. Um, I did cut up that piece of paper earlier. So we've got these cards right here set aside. And then this is fussy cut items that I have in here. Oh, and then did y'all see the new rubber stamps that I have? The pencil? I have a pencil and three pen nibs in my shop now. Here's the pen nibs, and then here's the ink. And I took the small um, print letter and stamped it onto a craft. Julie, you were asking about craft a while back. Um, on the craft, and this is on ivory, and then I used, I think I got this upside down. I did, they're all upside down. <laughs> they should all go the other way. Oh, well. <clears throat> um. I like the way that one turned out. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to just kind of make a pile of journaling cards. Here's another journaling card that I made. And it needs a word on there. So let's grab some words. Let's see what we've got. Let's do um, create. We'll go in here and get create out of there. So we'll kind of cut this. So I kind of like having them attached together instead of all individual because I can just go in there and cut out the one that I want. I'm going to add some distress ink to it. And then we'll paste it onto the page. So we'll just put it maybe we'll make it look like it's behind the bird. <laughs> what do you think? You like that? <clears throat> Woohoo! Chinese food fund! <laughs> Those look awesome. You like it, Julie? Thank you. I have a gal that <clears throat> that lives in Singapore and she bought all the she bought some pen one the two different sizes of pens, the ink and the uh, pencil. Do you like that? It's kind of cute, huh? Been cutting words out of magazines. That's perfect. You can do that. Uh, yes, Donna, I got your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know if you heard me say it. So thank you, Donna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, the Pecan Tan Beauty. Welcome. So glad to have you here. <clears throat> I also made these little embellishments. I think Wednesday, well, I was going to do it Wednesday, but now I have an appointment. Um, I'll, I'm going to do a live stream soon where we make little goodies like this. You like those? So these are embellishments. We'll just lay those up here. If I find if I get them out, then I use them. Because if I don't, they end up um, left in the pile. So this is using the bingo card. This is the uh, post card uh, set. It's a set of four stamps. This is Janice. This is one of the butterflies. I just made a little collage out of it. I thought that could be a cool tuck spot to put stuff in. 
And then here's another bingo card. Here's one of the flowers. There's a punched heart and another butterfly. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. All right, so here's what I do. I got all of these things. So we're going to dump out my Ziploc bag. Do you like the little circle embellishments? It's kind of fun, huh? And I was just using a, a gel print in the background, the postcard collage stamp. You can barely see it, really, but it does make a difference on the page. And then a two-inch uh, circle punch. Could use a die. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm putting the pocket items in one pile and journal cards in another and then fussy cut items I'll put up here so that I can attach them in the journals every so often. So here's a fussy cut. These are little circles that come in the kit. Journal card, journal card. Fussy cuts. Fussy cut. Fussy cut. Fussy cut. Oh, now my watch says good. <laughs> I haven't moved from my seat, y'all. <laughs> oh, dear. Tags. Little embellishments. Embellishment. Journal cards. Journal cards. And then these are all embellishments. So I like to kind of get them all laid out so I can see them. I don't know if you're like me. If you don't see them, you don't use them, right? You want to make coin-shaped embellishments? Thank you. You're welcome, Elizabeth. Glad to, to give you that idea. <clears throat> All right, so this is in the kit. It's a little pocket. So what I've done is I've just scored the pieces, and then I'm going to glue it on top of this library backing, if you will. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here, and here, and here, and then we'll place it right on top. And sometimes to get it to stick, I'll lay something on top of it. So I've got a journaling block, stamp block, what do you call that? <clears throat> I'll just lay that on top. I'm burning calories laughing. That's right. <laughs> <coughs> I need to drink some water. Mm. All righty then. All right. Well, let's, um, <clears throat> do we want to stamp first or glue things down? Let's glue things down first. All right. Yeah, check out the fans of uh, Calico Collage Facebook group. Robin just shared that in the chat. Okay, so let's go here. I don't know. I like the way this page looks. I think all I want to do is just add a little embellishment to it like that. And you can tuck a journal card in. You like it? So I'm just going to put glue on three sides. And do I want to do, do we want to do the same? Do we want it to match or do we want something different? Oh, it may not work. I may have to. <clears throat> no, it's too, too big. <clears throat> we'll put that one in there. All right, so I'll lay that in there so it doesn't get glued down. Mm. Oh, too big. I think we'll put that like this. I'm just going to put glue on this side over here underneath and then a little card inside of it. <clears throat> oh, when you, you, <laughs> I'm sure the gel printing yesterday tricked my Fitbit, Julie says. Yeah, I, I understand that because you're, if you're doing your briar, you know, and if you're very vigorous when you do it. <laughs> Oh, 
I think, let me see what happens if I fold this, if it would fit. No, it won't fit there. <clears throat> oh, but these will. That would fit in there. All right, so let's, um, how wide is that? That's a two and a half inch. I wonder if I have my punch. Where is it? <coughs> That's not it. I've moved things around. Oh, here we go. So let's punch. Let's punch. So that can go in there. So I'll add some distress ink to it really fast. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I've, I've seen some people wear their foot bit on their shoes so that when your feet move is when it will count. Uh, the yoga instructor, instructor at the gym that I go to, she wears hers on her shoe. Oh, you know what? I just have this little piece of ribbon or lace that we cut off earlier. And we're just going to stick it through here and tie a little knot. I'm okay. It's my allergies. You have an Apple Watch and it tells you to breathe? <laughs> yeah, this is um, a Paper Studios punch, Ada, from Hobby Lobby. And it makes three different sizes of tags. You just cut your strips of paper different widths and then slide it in. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Margie says, if I had a Fitbit, it would throw its hands up in disgust. <laughs> it would be like, um, lady, you're dead. You haven't moved. <laughs> okay, let's put this right here. I kind of made this so it could be a tuck spot by putting glue on the top and around the side, but I'm not going to put anything under there just yet. I'll just stick it down. All right, so if y'all have watched me before, so that I don't run out of embellishments, I'll do a couple of pages at the first, and then I'll flip to the back of the journal and start embellishing from this direction so we can get a variety, if you will. Which reminds me, what did I use? Okay, I used that there, so we'll put that there. We'll put one of those there. We'll put a circle there. Basically, what I'm doing is kind of lining up so that when I go to the second journal, I use these pieces in the other journal. If that makes sense. We've got two of those. We've got those pieces. Okay, good. <coughs> All right, we'll put that right there. Oh, uh, well, you could probably get it online as well, Ada, if you don't see it in the store. But they, they had it. It wasn't discontinued. I haven't looked for it in a while, though. All right, enter the raffle. I'll put that there. Let's see. Okay. We're going to put this pocket here. And then I'll put this in this pile right there. So I'll know it goes in the other journal. Put that down right here. I'm trying to get it as close to the edge as I can. Because I hope if I did this right, this guy... Yeah, he'll fit in there. So I'm going to make sure it's adhered down before I put the journal card in there. Because I have been known to glue them down. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> you don't move enough, but it hurts your knee. You know, Julie, you need to find what you can do to move, even if it's some yoga, because it will help your knee. Henry has bad knees from running in high school. He was on uh, cross country. And uh, since he started going to the gym, his knees don't hurt him as bad because they really work to make sure that he is exercising correctly. 
and it's made a big difference. I think what I'm going to do is this one I'm going to paper clip. What do you think? We'll do it from the top. <clears throat> And then that way, if you want, you can paste something underneath there, whoever ends up with the uh, journal. Yeah? All right, so let's put one of these there. Let's put this right here. Okay? When I'm making a journal, I find that I like putting the embellishments on the non uh, printed pages, if you will, because it marries it all together. <clears throat> I think that would look cute right there. Someone's calling my website right now. <laughs> Don't they know? <laughs> it's ringing in the other room. It sounds like an old-fashioned telephone. I guess I need a message on my website that says, from this time to this time, I'm live on YouTube. If you want to talk to me, come over here. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> I think that one looks pretty cute, don't y'all? You like it? You like it? I hope so. Oh, and I think that could go in that pocket. Yeah? All right, I'm going to lay that there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <coughs> um, Barbara, message me because it won't allow you to do two coupons in the same transaction, but I can kind of finagle it on the back end and then send you an invoice. Um, so that we can pay for shipping and you don't have to have two separate orders with two separate shippings. So just message me with what you're wanting. Okay. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that goes in the other journal. Let's put... Oh, I already put something there. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave this one without anything on it. So let's go to the other side. So I've got something here. I haven't put anything on this page. Let's put something on this page. <clears throat> I got a fussy cut item there. Let's put this little teacup. What do you think? That'd be kind of cute on that page, don't you think? Aw, oh, thank you so much, Robin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think Norella and I make a great team, you know, putting the kits together and uh, I give her some input about what I would like and she does a fabulous job. <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess I need another allergy pill. Allergy pill. All right. One, two. Okay, so I'll put one there. I must put that. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? <clears throat> okay. Alright, did I put anything on the back side of that page? No. I'll leave that for now. Alright, so let's go here. Let's stamp on this one. <clears throat> I'll come back to it. We'll stamp on that one in a moment. So let's put something on this page. Oh, we've got these little bees. So let's put a little bee there. Okay. Just for an embellishment. Join the raffle. I think we're about ready for me to do the raffle now. Join the raffle. Okay. So let's go over here. And I have some smaller bees, so let's see what we got here. Those are going in the same direction. Okay, so put one there. Like that, okay. And we'll put the littler bee over here. <clears throat> oh no, I won't get them infected, Julie. I'm good about uh, cleaning them out. <laughs> I use a... Uh, <clears throat> 
Exactly, they should know I'm here. Um, I use a neti pot to clean out my sinuses, but we've had lots of rain, so we're having that super bloom. You got it, the flowers are getting the best of me. You got it, Sonia. Um, so what they call a super bloom in California, I think some people call it that. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna leave that one for now. All right, so this one needs some little embellishment. And I, what I did the other day was I sat down. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got those pockets. We can use those. Um, I sat down and I stamped out a bunch of embellishments. And I colored them with Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. So I think that would look kind of cute on the page, don't y'all? Do you like that? And then I've got... Well, I've got a couple of these. Oh, and I've got these. Let's get those out. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you just need to have a few little things laying around uh, so you see them and use them. And it didn't take very long for me to sit down and fussy cut all these. Okay, there we go. So I've got, I've got a couple of piles here. Let's put that one here. <clears throat> Give me some thumbs up, man. Alrighty. All right, are y'all ready for, to do the raffle? I think it's time. I like it. All right, so we need some journal cards to go in there. <clears throat> and I've got some... Let me see if this will fit. Oh, yeah, I've got two of these. So let's see what we can do here. Do we want to put um, strips of a gel print across there? <clears throat> <clears throat> I've got this one. I can cut that into a strip. So let me move this out of the way. Y'all ready for me to do the raffle now? I'm going to cut some little strips. Oh, I got you. I got you, Donna. You know, I don't mind so much these printed little items or the um, hand stamped items I can sit and watch a movie or television or something but I'll tell you what if you don't have these scissors it makes a big difference when you're fussy cutting I promise you that if you were to use these you would love them because it makes it so much easier to cut items out it does not hurt my hand. You know, with regular scissors, it can hurt your hand trying to hold, you know, and open and close. But these are awesome, and they're by Fiskars. And I sometimes share, if you get them, um, sometimes Hobby Lobby has them half price. They did last week. I can get them through Amazon. So if you need a link to Amazon, just let me know, and I can get one sent over to you. <clears throat> all righty so let's do the raffle yeah they are fiskers yeah they are fiskers all right so let's do the giveaway so where's my notepad i should have cut this strip too while i was at it and then i would have it cut huh oh thank you pam for your donation thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> Okay, got my pen. All right, y'all in the raffle? Thank you, Pam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, $13 at Walmart. I found them for $15 at Hobby Lobby, but if you get them for 50% off, that's half or 40% off coupon. Okay, I'll get a link to scissors for you. <laughs> you drop them when they when they stay open. You know what? I, it has a lock on it. Um I've just found if you close it and then lock it, it works really well. But I understand. <clears throat> you like your Tim Holtz scissors? Okay, so let's go here. Let's close that. Thank you all for being here and for your donations. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're getting inspired. Um... <clears throat> I don't think I spelled that right. Oh, here we go. Um, Fisker Scissors. Open a new tab. <clears throat> okay. 
hopefully this will copy link. Let me see if it'll take this link. This is for the, oh, nope, it won't. <clears throat> when it's a tiny URL, it doesn't like it. <clears throat> All right, here is the scissors. You can't cut with it locked. <laughs> <clears throat> a scanning cut is an electronic cutter that you can use to fussy cut items out by putting it in it scans it and then it knows where to cut or you can use a computer and see and and send files to it as well <clears throat> all right so those were the scissors I'll give it again this scurs there all right, let's see if that link works. Hopefully it did. Fisker Scissors, there's the link. <clears throat> All right, so let's do the giveaway. Pick a winner. So this person is getting uh, 200 junk bucks, and the winner is Kathy Lake. Congratulations, Kathy. She just used her coupon the other day, so she needs more junk bucks. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, so I've got another one of these little um, seven gypsies. It's a little truck. So let's do that. Reset. Yes. Let's go here and go seven gypsies truck and open giveaway. <clears throat> so we're doing this next. So enter the raffle. Congratulations. Yeah, like the silhouette. You got it, Mariana. It's like the silhouette. It's like the cricket. It's just a little different, but pretty similar. All right. So we have this journal card. And I think what I want to do is paste this across the top. So first one I'm going to do is trim it to be the same width as my card. Or do I want to go this way? <clears throat> I'm going to go this way instead. I think, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to cut off the excess. Raffle. Oh, it might be too. Okay, that's okay though. If you click on that link though and then do a search on Amazon, you can get the single pair. <clears throat> you don't have to buy the two pair if you don't want two pair. Although I highly recommend it because I have a uh, three pair. <laughs> I have three pair. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to add some distress inks down the side. Like so. So someone asked me the other day, what do you do with those book page gel prints? And here is a perfect way, you know, cut it up into smaller pieces and use those smaller pieces to decorate your pages. It kind of goes a long ways if you can cut them up into one-inch strips. And then you start adding a little decoration. <clears throat> Uh-oh, your cat is staring at you. Is he waiting for dinner? <laughs> yeah, we do We do the border. You got it, Sonia. On our kits, I told uh, Norella, uh, I guess a year ago, I said, Lady, I love your fussy cut items. They're really pretty. But if you could put the border around them, it would make it so much easier for the machines, the electronic machines, to see that border and cut them out for me. And she was like, wait, what? And so I had her download the Silhouette software so I could show her what I mean. And that's how it came to be that all the fussy cut items have a border. <clears throat> Yeah, you know, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> He's like, pay attention to me, human. <laughs> I know how cats are. I used to have one. They're pretty fun. All right, so let's, um, should we put stitches on there or leave it? I kind of like them. Ooh, what if we did this? Maybe, maybe. Would that look cute on there? So kind of indicate writing on there. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> He's hypnotizing you, Mariana. 
<laughs> uh, Mr. Rogers, that's cute. Yeah, we name our dogs after, um, except for Oreo, he came with his name. But when we got to name a dog or a cat, we'd name them after Greek gods. So we had a dog named Thor, and we had a cat named Athena, and then we have Hercules. <clears throat> Most of the other animals that we've had, they came with their name. We had a dog named Spanky at one time. Although we did name, uh, we had a dog, his name was Max when we got him. And we ended up naming him Turbo. Because when he would run away from you, when he was running, you could see little swirls, cowlicks on his, either side of his tail. And they reminded us of little turbines. So we called him Turbo. <clears throat> oh, hey, Linda. Glad to have you here. Now, right now, I'm making some 5 by 7 journal cards. And I should have made two of them, but four of them. Because I've got another journal to put these in. What do you think? You like it? How's that? <clears throat> All right, so let's put a little embellishment on this side, and I think I've got this little flower, so let's put that right here. This is a Beeline Design stamp that I colored with um, Calico Color, or with a, I can't, I have too many names that I'm trying to remember. Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. So, of the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, what is your favorite color? Or if you've never owned one, what would be a color you would like to have? Have you checked out their website? <clears throat> Ooh, hot hands, warmer thingy to your knee. Feels good. You like those because they're big, so lots of riding room. And then you've got the back side as well that you can ride upon. Or you can add photos. You like the cutter bee scissors? Alrighty. So, I think... Alright, let's put this one aside for a moment and let's decorate this journal. So I'm kind of... Right now what I'm doing is I'm looking at my other journal over here to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so I can put things in here. So I've got a few little things. All right, here's a little square. And we're going to put a tag. So this is going to go right here. So we're getting a little variety. Your favorite is the peacock gold, Karen? Yay! <clears throat> All of them are gorgeous. Enter the raffle for the Seven Gypsies 3D truck. All right, so that can go there. We'll flip that over. And let's put one of these circle embellishments. I like this one. Let's put this one right here. Let's see. Hard to pick a favorite. Just a clear with gold or silver, no color. Okay, I've got one that's called Dazzling Diamond, Sally. You would like that one. It's really pretty. So when you spray it over anything, it just gives it a beautiful shimmer. <clears throat> the gold tattered angels, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The best one, and I don't think I got any this time. I like um, Walnut Gold, Julie. Walnut Gold is one of my favorites. I also like uh, Craft. Let me see here. That's Craft. Is that Walnut Gold? Yeah, here we go. So, Craft is a really deep gold with a brown undertone to it, and Walnut Gold kind of reminds me of Tea Stain, <coughs> and I love using it through a stencil, but you can spray it directly without a stencil. You need a yellow, Robin? I have a few yellows I'll be putting in my shop. You don't own any yet, Bonnie? You're missing out. <laughs> I'll be having some in my shop. Uh, I hope to put them in uh, tomorrow. 
That's my goal anyway. All right, let's put this right across there. Put a little glue here and a little glue there. All right, and I've got another one of these that we're gonna use as a tag. So I'm gonna use the tag punch again. And let's put some distress ink on it. <clears throat> Not yet, Kathy. I was going to get some and they were out. So I'm going to put it on my next order so they'll have it the next time I go see them. Not yet. All right, I've got some fibers here. Not a single tattered angel spray. Oh, hey, Valerie. Glad to have you here. You have 20 bottles, Christy? Wow. I think you're right up there with me. I probably have more than 20 right now. All right, so do y'all remember if you've got a string and it's kind of hard to get it through a hole, if you'll take a smaller string, like a leftover piece of wax linen thread, and then you can pull it through. Well, thanks for telling me what colors y'all like. I'm gonna try to offer a few in my shop. I've got about 12 colors that I picked so far. I believe yellow was in there, a green. Hey, Carol! <clears throat> yeah, I own almost all the colors, but not all. I understand, Sonia. I understand. Only have so much money to go around. <laughs> Alrighty, let's tighten that up. So that'll go there. Cute, huh? <clears throat> Alright. Let's click over here. Fussy cuts, I don't. All right, this is going to go on that page. Whoops, I'm flinging, flinging things. Let's do the peacock down here. I think that would look kind of pretty. Um, craft, K-R-A-F-T. Craft is one that I like. I didn't get any of those this time around, but I will next time I order, which will be the end of this month. Is when I'll order those. Okay, that'll go here. Oh, cool! I did the peacock there and the peacock here. So, they kind of ma marry each other. Ha! <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Peggy! Glad to have you here. Okay. We are going to stamp on those. Oh, yeah, we're going to put a B on here. So, we got this little B. Little B! Little B! It's different than let it be. <laughs> All right. So this is going to go a little bit faster because I kind of know what I want to put where, if you will. <clears throat> Join the raffle. Join the raffle. I may be putting this on upside down, but I think it looks cute this way. String trick. Where you can pull, take a smaller piece of string, put your fibers in there, and then pull it through the hole. Then you don't have to fight your fibers so much. I think it's handy. All right, so we need to make some journal cards for this page. Yeah, yeah. And let's see what we can do here. Let's grab, I got two more of these. So let's find a different gel print. And let's see what I got laying over here. I think that oh it's not quite long enough dang <clears throat> maybe we can do that one it's really bright in color so let's cut that into strips cutting it down I don't know sometimes I'll spend the time to trim off all the edges and sometimes I don't ahead of time. It just kind of depends upon how much time I have. I'm about due for a vacation. I've been so busy. Henry and I were talking the other day that we work every single day, so pretty soon we're going to try to take some time off. <clears throat> Need to add something to the ends of the strings? Gotcha. Okay, well maybe we can do that. 
I've also got some <clears throat> little uh, charms and stuff here. I've got a uh, some ball pins. So I'll see if I can't attach something here in a moment. All right, so we got this one. It's a little bit shorter. So this time we're going to go across the top. How's that sound? And then we'll put the pin at the bottom like that. Yeah? String trick! <laughs> Major life hack. <laughs> Sometimes you got to have those little tips so you can, oh, that's how I can do that type of thing. <clears throat> can you all see now how I'm using the same basic supplies, but we're just changing it up just a little bit. And we're going to get a different look. I've trimmed that one. I love using these gel prints like this. <clears throat> yes, you have to take time for yourself. I agree, Mariana. <laughs> <clears throat> and tonight, I'm going to take some allergy medicine. <laughs> I take a 24-hour pill, but... I guess I needed to take one this morning because I didn't take it. I took it last night, but I didn't take it this morning again. My uh, doctor said to take it twice a day when it was really bad out. <clears throat> and I forgot this morning. You love the pencil stamp? Isn't that cool? It's really neat how it comes out. Right, I'm going to go around the edges. Go around the edges, go around the edges, and I need to hurry, I feel like. <clears throat> I try to have more of the journal put together before I go live, and this time it did not happen. Okay. <clears throat> What did you say? She needs to have another paper off stamp expo. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. <clears throat> you like it with the craft paper? It's kind of cool, isn't it? Give you a whole different look. <clears throat> that one will go there. And since I'm using these gel prints that were done on book pages, the paper's really thin. Aw, thank you, Lisa Jack, for your donations. Aw, you're so wonderful. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now make sure that when we get to the end that uh, you enter the raffle for the journal, all of you that have donated. I'm going to draw for the winner here in just a couple of minutes for the Seven Gypsies uh, little truck. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, so that's in the center. We did that. So here's what, that's what the first page looks like with the gel prints going down the sides and then the pencil. And then this is what I just made now. Okay, cool, huh? All right, we'll flip this, flip it. And then I've got this little V stamp. <clears throat> Join the free wrap. The nibs are fun, aren't they, Mariana? Different. Fun. Put this right here. Mm -hmm. Let's put a little B over here. <clears throat> B. And a B goes buzz. We had a dog that hated the sound of a fly buzzing by. He would go bonkers. He did not like it at all. All right, so let's see. Oh, let's put this guy on that page, yeah? I think so. I think that's what we need to do. And I have a journal card that fits in there. 
What did Sally say? I missed it. <laughs> Hurry vacation. <laughs> Sugar donut. Oh, dear. <clears throat> so when you go on vacation, and if you've been eating healthy while you were at home, <laughs> who am I kidding? Y'all don't eat healthy. I don't. Hey, so good to have you here, Elizabeth. Thank you, thank you. I understand. We're all busy, busy, busy. <clears throat> busy, busy bees. So, do you all eat foods that you normally wouldn't eat when you go on vacation? Higher in fat contact, content, you know, um, getting a little bit more um, of the uh, carbs, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> or do you maintain and be good? <clears throat> I have a steak vacation. Hey, you know, I'm all for that too. I'm kind of going to do that uh, in a sense for the junk journal retreat. The, I think I've told this story before. I went to a retreat and it cost me almost $3,000 to go to this retreat when I went to... Um, Ohio in 2000 and this retreats only $25 and I get to stay home and sleep in my bed and eat my food and join what I want so I'm going to kind of you know in a sense um, have a little mini vacation at home and just kind of play around and and do all the things through the retreat yes of course Linda says <clears throat> Gotta eat the good foods, right? I may even have to go shopping just for that so I'll have some fun foods to eat at home. My snacky foods. Never been on vacation, huh, Christy? Not even as a child. We, we took family trips. I don't know that they were really a vacation other than I know that my father or stepfather um, took time off from work. And we would go visit family. We didn't really go to a destination, if you will, growing up. We would just all get in the truck and our car and go visit someone. <clears throat> oh, well, I hope you had you had surgery on the 12th or you're going to have surgery. Well, I hope you're, you're, uh, you're recovering well. I understand having surgery. I've had my fair share over the years. I've had my fair share. Okay. So we put a pocket on this page. Alright, well I've got a few leftover bits here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let these rest and gel for a moment. And we're going to stamp... In fact, I think I'm going to add these pockets. Do I want it that way or this way? I think I'm going to put it that way. I'll add these pockets to the inside of the writing journal. <clears throat> pockets! Alrighty, we're almost to the point for the next raffle. Stringies on the strings. Okay, okay. I don't know what I'm going to put on there. I didn't leave them very long. But <laughs> we'll find something. Thingies on the strings, according to Robin. We'll see what we can find that I can put on there. Okay. Maybe that'll go in there. All right, well, we'll do this really fast for Robin. She wanted thingies on the strings. Canada is beautiful. Oh, we can put something on this side, too. Yeah, that's what I'll do is just add that <clears throat> since I flopped it over in there. And then we'll put that right there. Okay, so we got this little thing. 
and there's some little strings so she wants something on the ends let's see what I have here maybe that's what we'll do is we'll we'll hang a charm on here or something I got a charm what else do I got here Maybe that's what I'll do. We won't put it actually on the strings on the ends. We'll do it like, oh, come on now. Let's do this where I attach it. Oh, you got to close the safety pin. Okay. How about that, Robin? Will that suffice this time? Because I really don't have something small enough to put on the ends. <clears throat> Unless I do... No, I, I'm not feeling it, okay? I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I think I like that. Is that good, Robin? Will that make you happy? Okay. So we've got a journal tuck spot here. Okay, that's going to go there. So here, let's stamp. <clears throat> let's stamp! Let's stamp. And then we'll... Uh, something like that. What do you think? <clears throat> that is fine. Robin, you'll, you're okay with that? You'll forgive me? <laughs> I put something on there. Uh, oh, dear. Yeah, I, Elizabeth, I noticed the same thing. My Hobby Lobby had a lot of things on sale, too. It was pretty amazing. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Okay, wait, let me get... I need more butterflies. Where are the butterflies? <clears throat> this is how I store my um, stamps. I use these um, Crafters Companion sheets and the stamps just stick right to them. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these butterflies and I'm kind of line them up okay so I've got all four since they were from the same set they were all pressed at the same side size time I can't get my words out um so they're the same height okay so if we do this okay I'm inking it up and then I'm going to stamp it down the side here Voila! Look at that! Bam! <laughs> I know, I'm silly. I can't help it. It's in my nature. Alright, what do we want to put over here? Let's do this one. Come here. Let's put daydreaming at the top. Aw, oh, there you go. Go hang out with Sonya. Oh, you redeemed for another coupon, Barbara? So you were redeemed for two? Okay. Let me write that down. Let me write that down, Barbara. Times two. Okay, now... Barbara, since you want to use them at the same time, message me with what you want. Um, you can do that through my webpage. Um, I think I did that wrong. Exclamation point. Yeah. Right there. It's, it'll, it'll come up where you can uh, message me. Do you like the butterflies going down the side, y'all? <clears throat> And I forgot I had these. I have these stamps in my shop now. Oh, let me take it out of the bag. 
Be gone with you, bag. So I have these little texture stamps. I think those would be kind of fun to use as well. So I'll get one of those out. All righty. All right, so since this has kind of got where it bled through just a little bit, I think it looks kind of neat though. So I'm going to leave it. What I'm going to do is this one's kind of like a lace look. Hmm. Let's put this orangey yellow, I think, will be kind of cute. <clears throat> Go to Hobby Lobby and spend it. <laughs> spend it. I think I want to stamp journal up here. Yeah. I think we need a little washi tape over here. Yeah. Maybe just a little. Just for the look of it. Okay. Let's do some washi tape on this one. <clears throat> I like adding the washi tape just randomly, too. Let's do it right here. My husband's a good man. I'm very blessed to have him. He's very supportive. Willing to see me succeed. Okay, <clears throat> let's stamp the butterflies again over here. Yeah, and then let's stamp a different butterfly up there in the word journal right there. I'm keeping this one relatively flat because I really want this to be all about writing without anything getting in the way. I think this might look, I don't know, is that what I want? Hmm. <clears throat> well, that's kind of neat. It just kind of gives a little texture at the bottom there. And let's put, um, I've got one of these little circles. Let's put that right there. What do I do with my glue? There it is. <clears throat> All right, go get some dinner, Kim. Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do we fight? Not really. Not anymore. We've been married for so long. There's, it's not that, you know, it's like, what's the point of fighting? <laughs> <clears throat> One ugly roll, Christy, really? <laughs> you know, you also, um, don't you make gel prints? You can pretend that they are um, washi tape strips. Just cut them into narrow strips, and then you can paste them down. In fact, I'll do that. <clears throat> we'll do that in a moment. Okay. Let's see. Oh, let's add a little B. I got a little B here. Let's put a little bee up there. Thank you so much, Robin, for being a moderator. We need to make a donation fund for Robin. <laughs> <clears throat> Say thank you, thank you, thank you for your help. All right, let's put that guy right there. She does a fabulous job. And she's a volunteer. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'll be sending her some stuff, though, with her order. What's y'all's favorite stencil so far in my shop? Do y'all have a favorite? 
Do you have a favorite? Robin says, no! Don't make a donation for Robin. <laughs> okay. So here I've got this gel print. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it. Okay. And we're going to pretend that this is washi tape. So I'm going to go on here and just glue it down. And there's your washi tape look. <clears throat> she is amazing, isn't she, Sonia? I'm really blessed to have her. Very, very blessed. And then we'll put that like this. So, does that not look like washi tape? Just by doing that? Oh, you love watching Doris Day. I think one of the, the great funny ones is, uh, what is it? Uh, what is her name? Betty? Betty White. Betty White. She's a lot of fun to watch. Okay, so let's stamp journal up here. Oh, that was upside down. Dang it. <laughs> All right, we'll cover it up. <clears throat> we'll cover it up. That's what you do. If you met, I I do it every once in a while. It happens. Okay. Yeah, you could put your own on on uh, masking tape. That's exactly right. Okay, let's do it right this time. Okay, that's right side up. There. <laughs> <laughs> feeding frenzy moroccan thank you margie that's how you washi type just use strips squirrel <laughs> oh jimmy carter really i i'm surprised he's still alive <laughs> That dude is ancient. You said he, how old in 90s? That's amazing that he's lived this long. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I think let's do the butterflies down the side here. <clears throat> Back from serving dinner, what did you miss? Well, we're just stamping away. I put all four of this little quattro set of butterflies on a block, and I'm going to stamp it down the side here look at that kind of cute huh so we'll put the word journal up there I've got another little strip I'm just gonna stick it on there just for something something to look at I'm, it was on my desk so I'm trying to use it <laughs> And I have a little B, so let's stick a B on top of it. <clears throat> You'll miss put me putting some great pages together, Sherry says. Well, thank you. The stencil in this journal is this one right here, and it's called Daydreaming. Daydreaming flowers, I think is what I called it. Here's what it looks like. You see that on here? That's this stencil for this box. Oh yeah, the Seven Gypsies truck. Okay, it's time to draw for the Seven Gypsies truck. And then I'm going to name off all the people who donated. So um, in a moment, whenever I draw, I will start the raffle for the journal. That means if you donated, you'll enter that raffle when it starts. If you haven't donated, you still have a chance to donate to have an opportunity to win this journal. Remember, for donating, you get a free digital download. In fact, I think I forgot to um, tell y'all about that one. Um, and you also get 5% off in my shop. What you need to do is create a user account on my shop. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. My allergies don't get the best of me. And then you can uh, be added to the YouTube membership group and you'll get a discount and then all of the digital downloads that I have posted 
that are free. You'll be able to do that. So there's the current digital download. Okay. You read that as cat toys. Lime green is not one of your favorites. I don't know. I kind of like the contrast. I think it's kind of pretty. All right. So let's do the raffle. But first, I'm going to tell everybody that, or list everybody that donated. We got Lisa Jake, Pam, Donna, Giovanna, Paula, Christy, Kathy, Paula again. Thank you for your second donation there. And Karen and Janice and Christy. There's another donation from Christy. Thank you. Paula again. Thank you. Uh, Sonia or Slogan. And Jenny, and, and let's see, Janice subscribed. Let's keep going. Barbara Oliver, thank you, Barbara. Robin Finnessy, Ada, Sally, Rita, Mariana, and Margie Faluk Feline Family. Faluk Feline Family. <clears throat> thank you for your $20 donation. I really appreciate that. Debbie donated too. Christy donated again. Christy and then Paula again. All right, let's see. Um, oh, well, you know, we all we all have an ending. We have an expiration date. We just don't know when it is, right? All right, so let's do the giveaway. Hopefully, y'all got in on the raffle for the little Seven Gypsies truck. And then next, we will do the raffle for the journal. And then we'll get off here and have some dinner, right? All right, Linda Gray. Linda, I think you've purchased something from my shop. So, Seven Gypsies Truck. I think, I think, I think. If not, would you please message me through my website with your address? <coughs> Pardon me. So that I can uh, send you... I'll give you the contact me. So, Linda. So, make sure you message me with your address, Linda Gray, if I don't have it already, if you're not one of my customers. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, we're going to get the giveaway started for the journal now. So, I'm going to reset that. Are you still here, Linda? Did you have to go? <clears throat> All right, so we're going to say the daydreaming junk journal. All right, so the giveaway is now going to be open for those who have donated. If you would like to donate and you haven't yet, you have time, and I will be uh, calling out here in just a couple of minutes saying, all right, it's time, it's time. Okay? All righty. Let me get uh, my glue. Let's put this guy in here. Like that. This is a page I made. I like the way that one turned out. Let's add something over here. Let's do the journal. Journal. Let's add this guy. Just a little scrappy. Raffle. All right, if you donated, it's time to enter the raffle for the journal. Whoop, whoop. <clears throat> Let's put this little bee right there. Just a little bee. I think that kind of looks cute there. So we'll put that there. Oh, cool. And I have this journal card. So we'll have a birdie journal card behind the birdie tuck spot. How's that? <clears throat> Thank you, Robin. Yeah, he did do a lot of nonprofit stuff, that's for sure. I agree with that, Sonia. Let's stamp these butterflies. Stamp them. That's kind of cool. Got a couple more things laying around here. So I'm going to glue these down. Okay. I think that's upside down. Oh, no, that's right. It goes like that. Okay. Let 
little tuck spot. <clears throat> we'll put this journal card behind there. Let's stamp something over here. I have a different butterfly, so we'll do that one. And I have some more washi tape, so we'll add some more washi tape down here. I'm trying to use it up. Thank you so much, Ada. <laughs> you know, I've I just bought things whenever they were on sale, on clearance, whatever the case may be over the years. I think I got a little scrap of fabric here. Let's just trim that. And that's what I did with any profit that I made. I would buy a tool or a craft supply, paint, paper. Every time I would sell something, I would buy something new. Oh, let's put a little, I got a little flower. Maybe we should put that one down there on top of the washi. <clears throat> thank you, Barbara. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I hope it inspires you that you create as well. I think we need to put this little rose right there. Don't you think on that pink page? You overthink too much, Margie? You know, it's just get her done. That's the way I look at it. Get her done. Don't think about it too much. What else I got here? Oh, I got some more pieces back here. Let's put that there. Get her done. Okay, we stamped on that one. All right, let's flip through this one. Let's see if we need to add anything. I think this is a tuck spot, so I'm going to put that there. Like that. Isn't that kind of pretty? I love these little circles. I'm going to be making more of those. That's going to go behind here when it dries. <clears throat> This one's going to go behind there when it dries. You can be an overthinker. I get it. I understand. I'm liking it. I hope you like it. Especially the ones that have uh, entered the raffle. It's the time to enter the raffle. I'm missing it. You know... You know what? You're not going to mess it up. I messed up earlier by stamping something upside down. I just pasted something over it. Just do it. Let it come together. You know, whatever speaks to you, if you will, just go ahead and paste it down or stamp on it. I'm going to add this little guy over here. He's upside down, but we're going to put him the right side up. I was using that ribbon rose stamp that I had in my, uh, when I, when I did the gel prints. And this is that uh, digital download from last week. The ribbon rose is, if you donated, you get that one. And let me give you all another link <clears throat> that you can use whenever you're, um, in my shop. You can go to a, um, subsection you know like if you go to the store and then you go to digital there's a drop down list that you can click on and right now it's by popularity if you change it to latest then it'll show you the most recent ads that I have in my shop so I'm going to give you all this link because if you haven't picked up your digital downloads you can do that you stamp on you stamp I stamp on some of the stuff with your feet. Well, you're not supposed to just do that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's not the it's not the end of the world if a, if a goop a, you know a mess up happens. You know, this is kind of a tuck spot. I think that block of of teal on there is kind of neat. So let's do this. Let's add some distress ink. And then let's stamp this butterfly on the top. 
like that. And then that'll go in there. Good morning, Sandra. Oh, your old laptop is passed on. It's given up the ghost. I like that. Okay, so there's one journal. I have a couple of little pieces left. So we're going to flip back through these really fast and see what I need to do. If you've donated, make sure that you type raffle right now. We added this little charm. You like that? The little charm? <clears throat> Glad you stopped in. It was making sounds. <laughs> I like this with the pencil. I think it's really cute. And the peacock. I didn't put anything on this page, so I've got this little piece. I don't think I want circles on circles. We'll do this. Like that. We'll do it like that. And I think this page needs a little something. So how about this little blue bird? What do you think? Do you like the little blue bird? Is he kind of cute? Oh no! Yeah, it does make a difference. Yeah, it pops out. I agree with you, Julie. You love the peacock, Elizabeth? This is the daydreaming kit, Elizabeth, that I have in my shop. And it's part of the kit, or the kit I'm using for the virtual junk journal camp retreat that happens in June. All right, we didn't put anything on this one, so let's stamp these butterflies. I'm turning my page so I can get it right up here on the edge. I like that. Do you like it with the butterflies going down? I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so let's do... What else? I don't have very many stamps out today. <clears throat> oh, I know what. Let's put... Um, let's put this rose right here. Thank you, Robin, for sharing the Daydreaming Kit. You can also get it as a digital download through uh, Calico Collage. This is a special kit that we made for the retreat. You know, I got these out earlier, and I totally forgot to use these um, little uh, papers because they got buried over here to the side. <laughs> so we'll put that there got to be there. Be in your bonnet. That kind of has a pinky peach color to it. <clears throat> Junkie Joe. Yeah, Junkie Joe is part of the retreat. Didn't y'all know that? <laughs> he will be at all the lives that I do. Type in bucks. Type in bucks. Elizabeth. Type bucks to check your junk bucks total. When you get to 2000 you can type award and you get a $10 off coupon to my shop. <clears throat> Alrighty. Put something there. Something there. Now I'm just kind of going through and adding a few things. It's kind of handy having this little um, basket of things. Oh, I think that one would be kind of cool. So let's distress it. Distress it. Let's put it under pressure. Make it feel out of uh, character and insecure. <laughs> uh, Junkie Joe's going to the retreat. <laughs> Type in bucks. Thank y'all for helping each other. I, you know, that's what I like to see in our community is helping each other. Um, you know, I, call me out if you think I'm not help being helpful because that's my goal in life is to be helpful to others. And I try to do that as best I can. <clears throat> if y'all have a YouTube channel, type I have a YouTube and follow each other. Give each other support. Ooh, there's a little butterfly. Let's put that there. 
<laughs> I, I really like this Bella Rose stamp for some reason. I've used it a bunch, but I think we're going to put some orange on that one. Okay. And let's put this little butterfly over here. Alrighty. I know we're going long today, y'all. Thanks for sticking with me. I greatly appreciate your support and watching, being a part of the live stream and chatting with each other and encouraging each other. Let's put this guy down here. <clears throat> Cause I rub off on you, yay! <laughs> yeah, we're getting the we're getting about ready to finish this journal. I've got uh, this page to do. I'm gonna flip through the other one really fast and see what I need to add, if anything. That goes in here. Goes like that. Okay, got that journal card. All right, so this one is done. So now we're going to go through this one. You want to do the Bella Rose? I can show you how to do that. <clears throat> just no worries, just play. Thank you, Margie. <laughs> yeah, give me a second to flip through. Let's put something on this page. And uh, what do I want? What do I want? I've got this little birdie. He's kind of cute. He's a cute birdie. Birdie. All right. I've got a, uh, I'm going to grab a piece of paper here. I got a piece of paper. And I got to find a Bella Rose stamp. Yeah. And let's get a block. So I've got a block. Okay. So I'm going to stamp it. Okay. I'm going to use my heat tool to set the ink because if you try to watercolor or paint anything on it really immediately after stamping, it will bleed. It is permanent if you let it set for a while. And then I've got my little paint, paint palette here, so I'm going to move my journal over here. I say my journal. The winner of this journal, <laughs> whoever that may be. I've got a palette here, so what I do is I'll take my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and in this case, I know I want some of the pink. Yeah, I put a robin in the journal. <laughs> yeah, just message me, Barbara. Yep, you can message me Friday. That's fine. Any day, I'll get to it. <clears throat> All right, so I sprayed a little Tattered Angels. I've got a paintbrush. I, I'll dip it into some water. Uh, this palette, when the liquid evaporates, it'll leave the Tattered Angels and you can rehydrate it with water. Which is handy if you go like on a retreat or something and you take this with you. You could put all the colors in there that you want to watercolor with, let it dry overnight, and then it'll be ready for you to mess with at your little retreat or getaway. So I'm just going to go in here and take that darker pink. And I'm going to fill in the darker areas here. Let me zoom in so you can see it. So I'm going to do this really fast. We're going to go right around the perimeter. Fill in where the dark areas are. I'm just loosely watercoloring, y'all. I'm not being precise. And that's part of the reason why I like painting with the Tattered Angels. I'm okay if it bleeds over. It's going to give a blended effect to it, if you will. So we'll just kind of go around, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Okay. Henry's not home yet. I thought he was going to come home and cook dinner or he's being really quiet in the other room. All right. So I just kind of painted around that really fast. I'm going to wash out my brush. <clears throat> I've got another pink up here. So I'm just going to get my paintbrush wet and activate the paint that's in here. It's a really pale, pale pink. 
And then what I'm going to do is just go in here and wash over the top. You see that? And it just fills in the flower. Okay, you see that? And then I'll clean out my brush. And I've got some green here, so I'm going to reactivate the green. And basically all I did was my brush is wet from rinsing it out. And I'm tapping it on the side because I don't want a whole bunch of paint because this is a really dark green. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edge and then fill in just a little bit. I think I hear my husband. I think he's home now. So that's what I did. Does that help you? <clears throat> You're very welcome. See, that's the Tattered Angels. And that's what that does. Pretty awesome, huh? Easy peasy. You got it. Henry, come home. It's time for dinner. <laughs> All right, let's go back. And let's finish decorating this page up a little bit. I think I'm going to be stamping more of these images, I think, I think, I think. Oh, let's put this guy up here. And then we'll put this little birdie on there. Like right there. <clears throat> you like it? <sighs> I think he did. He's here, I think, I think. He's probably in their kitchen getting our dinner ready. Alrighty, we're getting really close to being done. So here it is, last call. If you uh, would like to donate to win this journal, please do so. I think I'm going to put that one down here. Oh wait, maybe I want the birdie. I think I want the birdie again. I think I need to stamp some more of these birdies and color them. Because I think they're pretty stinking cute. Mm. Let's do this little guy. <clears throat> up there okay perfect I haven't checked my group I've been bad I haven't I haven't been uh, online very much I've been working on other things so I'll check it out thanks Julie for tagging me what stencil comes with the kit this stencil comes with the kit it's got paint on it but that's the stencil that comes with the kit Okay, so let's stamp the butterflies on here, like so. Let's stamp the word journal on this side. <clears throat> let's grab another flower for this one. Robin, rock, rock. Just send it to you. <laughs> Just send it to Mariana. <laughs> oh, dear. The Stencil Club this month is um, uh, gears, like steampunk gears. If you haven't got yours yet, I mean, haven't purchased it yet, there's still time. I'll ship those out on Wednesday. If there was one that you wanted from the past, just let me know when you place your order like uh, Sonia did and you can get one of the uh, older stencil clubs as well. I think I'm going to do that. <clears throat> oh, not the heart though. Let's just put that on here. Do I have any feather stencils? No, not right now. I just have the peacock one. I haven't really made any uh, other feather looking stencils, but I might. I don't know. When I'm not sleeping. <laughs> okay, let's put a little... Let's put something on there. I got another butterfly. Oh, well, I've got this. Let's put this on here. <clears throat> I gotta remember which is top. Okay, I think that's the top. So I'll put that guy on there. Or should I put this one? Yeah, I changed my mind. I think I like the flowers better. Alrighty, we're really close 
to being done. Are there any questions? Y'all have any questions for me or any comments that you want to make? Again, I, I really appreciate y'all being here. I know I'm running a little late today. Birdie! Okay, he needs a little distress ink there. <clears throat> oh. What the heck is sleep? Yeah, I know what you mean. Although, since I've been working out, I've lost um, 22 pounds. And I do sleep a little better. I still have to get up to go to pink tinkle. <laughs> that doesn't seem to end. Alrighty, I think we're done, y'all. Let's put this bad boy together. Yeah? I think we're done. I'm cleaning. Let's move everything back out of the way. Right? Sleep, what is that? Alright, here's the cover. Alright, so here it is. This is it. We're about to draw. You have just a couple of minutes. One other one. Yeah. Uh, sleep. That increases as we get older. Less sleep. <clears throat> Henry is making, I believe he's making taco. Um, I, it's a taco salad without the crispy uh, shell. All right. All right. Okay, Ada, um, if you bought this for the camp and you purchased the um, uh, retreat fee for $25, Ada, you'll be added to a Facebook group. Check your did the uh, PDF that you got with the payment, and then you're going to um, uh, join the Facebook group. And then we'll start on June the 3rd. That's when we'll let you in. So we're, we're pretending like you're waiting at the door to get into the retreat. And so on June the 3rd, you'll be entered into the retreat group. So if you haven't already, do find that in your notes for the ticket that you purchased so that you can go ahead and uh, click add me and you'll be sitting there pending as a member. We're not adding anybody yet until the um, retreat opens. All right, so I think I'm going to put the writing journal in the front. So I'm going to just slip this under here. So here's your last chance if you haven't donated and you would like to donate. You can still do so. And then I'm going to draw as soon as I get this thing put together. Any questions? You like soft tacos? Well, I don't, don't do the carbs. I've been trying to reduce carbs. So I don't eat the tortilla. Uh, whether it be a crispy one or a, um, I need the sinus, or a soft one. Oh yeah, Penny Penny is in here. Hey Penny, she's the uh, person putting on the retreat. I'm just a artist host that will be participating in the retreat. I've got several videos that I've already uploaded into the Facebook group. After the retreat, those videos I will post on YouTube, but it'll be like a month before they go up. So if you want to see the latest and greatest, join the retreat. I mean, it's only $25. They're all going to be um, uh, learning modules so that you can um, <clears throat> learn at your own pace. I think I'm going to do this. And they'll be saved. The, the group will stay um, available even after the retreat. So you can watch them. You know, um, two months from now if you want. All right, let me get my notepad. So there is our journal that we made today. I didn't put a tie on it. Do we need to put a tie on there? I think it looks pretty good like it is, though. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we ready to draw for this last call. Thank you so much, everybody. We're going to draw for the winner. Winner. I like the way this one looks. I think I need more pages like that. 
<laughs> All right, so it looks like Mary, Pam, Christy, Deborah, Margie, Robin, Sherry, Sonia, Janice, Kathy, Mariana, Barbara, Paula A., Karen, Rita, Ada, Giovanna, uh, Donna and Sally, they have all entered the raffle. I didn't see um, Lisa Jake. So, Lisa, if you're still here, enter the raffle. Was there anybody I... Jenny, Jenny, you didn't enter the raffle. Jenny, where are you, Jenny? I didn't see Jenny in there. Where are you, Jenny? And Debbie, did you enter the raffle? Oh, Mary Jones, she's going to enter. Do you have enough, Mary? <clears throat> thank you, Ada. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, we're going to get ready to draw. Going to draw, draw now. All right, here we go. Our winner for this journal, the Daydreaming Journal. That's the wrong notepad. Here we go. I gotta have the right notepad. Alrighty, pick a winner. Christy! Christy Johnson, you won! Yay, Christy! Woohoo! Christy! Jenny Lash. <laughs> Thanks, Mariana. Yay, Christy! You won the journal! Woohoo! Yay, Christy! <laughs> That's awesome. Alrighty, y'all. Well, thank you so much for being here, for cheering me on while I made the journal. Congratulations, Christy, for winning. Yay, Christy! <laughs> yes, you won! Yay! Congratulations! Oh, yeah, and Christy's trying to get a boss fight started. <laughs> Yay, you won! Woohoo! <laughs> Enter the bus fight if you want. I th I think I like it. I hope you like it, Christy. I hope you're happy with it. I think it turned out really well. All right, well Thursday we'll be doing mixed media. Um I may do mixed media embellishments. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> Yay, Christy! I'm so glad. Yay! It makes me happy that you won because <laughs> you've been such a great supporter and always donating. Although Margie donates every time and she hasn't won the journal yet, so we got to get her on there. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'll be here Thursday, 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, see you on the next page. Good night, Giovanna. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I know we were on for three hours, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Any questions or anything else before I go? Because I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm in shock. Yay! You too, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you so much. And just message me, Barbara, with what you want, and we'll get it all squared away. My day will come, Felique says, Margie says. Has to come east next time, Mariana says. Margie needs re rewarding. <laughs> uh, I've sent her one little thank you gift already. I, I may have another one coming up soon for her. <laughs> Bye, everybody. All right, we're going to get off here. <clears throat> and Robin, too. Robin's been here all the time, too. She needs one. Yep, she's trying to raid with our bucks as well. You got it. <laughs> Oh, dear. Good night, Mariana. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ada, for being here. Thank you, Barbara. All right, we're going to get uh, shut down. I'm in the Midwest, Christy says. Now you can take your shower, Mariana. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Night, everybody. Lots of love to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> night, night. Or morning, depending on where you're from. Thank you all again for being here. All right, I'm going to hit the button to end. So, thank you again. I greatly appreciate it. It's always a lot of fun. My face hurts 
from smiling and laughing. <laughs> so now it's time for me to relax my face. <laughs> Bye, Valerie. Bye, Sonia. Bye, Robin. Bye, Sandra. Bye, Christy. Thank you, thank you. I know, Christy. we got to get Robin a journal. It's about time for her. Her and Margie both. You're very welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, Bethany. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Your day will come, too. <laughs> well, enjoy. You're very welcome, Christy. Thank you so much for your support and being at the lives, for your donations, for your support in my shop, on Facebook, and here on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to get off here. Y'all have a fabulous day. Thank you so very much. I love you lots. Bye.